big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on the punch. And this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Fun. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibaga Mena. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to the corners, back to the You ready? Sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grapple versus grappler, we see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them to the ditch. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is normally for both of these guys, 
when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that's as diverse or as good in these positions as they are tonight. They get mirror images of themselves. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds an option. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Kick to the body by Namago Metal. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, missed on that one. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Yeah. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Just over two minutes, round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big leg kick land. Nice punch land. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Got clip with the right hand. Under a minute now to go. Big right hand. Powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Look at the turnovers in that kick. Inside leg kick. Tags him with the left. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing with overwhelming him with different attacks. Five Three minutes first. in the books. All right, well, that's the end of the round. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight.
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Second round here. Blocks the shot. Good one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. But that's working. You know he's working. That's a huge shot right there. Hammer fist. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he landed the right hand there. Love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just over three minutes now to go. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. He got a bang! Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really is. Now oh, he's on top of him looking for a finish. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. minute to go. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got him a very bad. All right, well, he's got him 
softened up here. Back mount now. Final seconds here of round two. Now it's his mount. Two rounds in the books. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous Face round. punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready? You ready? Let's Here go, we go, quick. third round of this championship fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Nervago Medov gets caught with it. Oh. Back to the feet. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. Oh. He got him. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata is called to stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. We got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.